know who you are, but it's time to go. Hey, Movie Maniacs. Welcome to Episode 2 of Invincible, entitled Here Goes Nothing. So if you watch Episode 1, they kind of walked you through Mark Grayson and how he got his powers. Um, the destruction of the Guardians. And Omni-Man, he is actually the true villain in this, um, in this TV show. Are you questioning me? But I don't know, like, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. He actually reminds me of Homelander uh, from the show The Boys. I mean, by no means as psychotic as Homelander is, but Homelander was actually, it's not was, but is actually the villain in that show. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. So as usual, we're here to show you a few of the mistakes that we found in Invincible. And just a quick FYI, yes, there will be spoilers, so be prepared for that. So in mistake number one, we got Omni-Man. He has just finished killing the Guardians and he collapses on the floor. But look at where Darkwing uh, lies on the floor with his head on the steps. But then when the camera angle switches, we kind of get another angle of Darkwing. And you can see here that his head is nowhere near the steps. Or, sorry, what's left of his head, I should say. In this scene, Omni-Man's wife wakes up and notice that her pillow is right at the edge of her hand, or her hand is right at the edge of the pillow, should I say. But when the camera angle switches, we can see that the pillow gets a lot larger, or longer, should I say, than it was before. For this one, not necessarily a mistake, but uh, Mark actually kills this lady by accident. I mean, all that damage to her wrists and her ankles weren't done before. So the crash and the fall kind of did the lady in. And I don't know if you've seen the episode, but she does pass away at the end. In this scene, we get a close up of the team team. Say that fast three times. But anyway, notice how close Eve and Rex are standing to one another. But once again, when the camera shifts, we get a far out view of the two and they are very far apart than they were originally. Looks like they're growing apart already. So when Mark goes to visit his father in the hospital, he stops by to check in on the old lady that he dropped off. Take note of the oxygen hose and how close it is to the guardrail on the bed. But when the camera angle switches yet again, we can see that the guardrail and the hose has quite a bit of distance in between them. Hey, maybe they're growing apart too. Haha. <laughs> Here we got Mark having lunch with his best friend in the cafeteria. And notice that that green apple is on his tray. And to be honest, green apples are one of my favorites. But just a little while later when Amber sits down, the apple is gone for some reason. I mean, man, he must have been really hungry. In this scene, we stop in on Mark beating up some aliens. And man, he is doing a great job. But when we pan over to Eve, notice that she is laying fully in the street. But when Mark rushes over to save her, he pulls the thing off her face and notice that she is almost on the sidewalk all of a sudden. I know she can fly and has super strength, but teleportation? Hmm, interesting. In this mistake, the writers and animators kinda gotta get on the same page. When Mark's father, Omni-Man, wakes up out of his coma, he gives him a huge hug. But while he's giving Omni-Man a hug, he says, Oh, my ribs. Ow, ribs. Careful. But he's not hugging his ribs. He was hugging him around the neck. So something doesn't quite jive right there. So in this mistake, Mark is inquiring from the nurse about the old lady that he brought in. You know, the one that he killed? Notice that the stethoscope around her neck is black. But when the camera angle switches back and forth, we can see now that it turns blue. Man, I'm going to get somebody fired one day. So for our final mistake, Mark is at school in his locker. But who is going to appear here? I wonder. But when the camera angle switches back and forth as the bully comes up, slams Mark against the lockers, that girl from the first video that was frozen? Frozen again! She's there again. Kind of weird that she just shows up places and doesn't move. Interesting. So, 
Tell me in the comment section below what you guys thought of Invincible. And as usual, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell now. We'll keep you updated of all of our up and coming videos. And also, don't forget to click the join button to become a member. Would you like a shout out in one of our videos? Go ahead and hit the join button now and become a member. Thanks for hanging out with us here at Moving Mistakes, and we'll see you next time.